Hi, Rafa. How's it going, man? Everything good? Everything all right? Hi, David. Good, and you? All good, brother. All good. So, how was um, how was your Independence Day? Um, I tried to rest, but I have a lot of I have a lot of things to do in the home. At home, really? Yes. I feel you. It happens. It happens. <laughs> so um. Even when you are the guy who fix everything in the house. Yeah, even if we, we, if you're the guy who fixes everything in the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it does happen. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good to have you here, man. Sorry, I'm... Uh, what happened to the rest here? So, so what kind of things did you have to do at your house? Um... I had to fix the toilet, the and the um, how do you say chorro? Faucet. Or faucet. Faucet. Yes. Oh, 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 faucet. Okay. So you had to fix the faucet, huh? Yes. And do uh, clean and put things in order. Really? Yes. That's, that's great. That's great. So you had to uh, you had to clean the house, huh? Yes. Right. That's great, man. So, so who do you live with? With my cousin. Oh, okay. You with your cousin? Yes. So, so you two are the only ones doing all. Well, obviously, right? You two yes. are the only ones doing everything at your place. Yeah, but because my father are in lives in Santana. Okay. All right. Also, oh, your your father lives in Santana. Yes. Oh, okay. You live so you live in the city. You live in, in the capital. Yes. When I studied the you know in the university, uh -huh. I came here. Oh really? Yes. Okay. Right. Very good. Hey, Malian, Nice to see you. How are you? I'm sick, teacher. You're sick. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. What, what, what do you come down with? I, I, I so pecha que tenga COVID. Oh, Jesus. Wow. So, so, but are you okay? I mean, are you, how, how are you feeling? In this moment, I feel well. How long ago did you get it? Um, Uh, Monday. You got it on Monday. Yes. Wow, and, and, and it is proven that that you you got COVID. And in this moment, I have bronchitis. Really. But the doctor say is a mascarilla, mas, mascarilla in the house because for the other people. To use a mask in the house. Yes. So, so you got tested and everything. It, for me, in this moment, I can I I can the test because only have a four days, and oh, so, I so, need to five day for a then for a test. So you haven't been tested. Oh, so you, so okay, got you, got you. Yeah, that mean, yes, I, I I got you. But my brother have is positive. Oh really? Yes. My son is sick too, but I can see the test for me and for my son because it's not have a spy day. Really? Wow. 
about that, you know, just, I mean, hopefully, you know, everything goes well. I, I you know, hopefully, you know, it, it uh, doesn't get worse, right? Uh, but you gotta, you gotta be careful, careful, careful with that because it's, um, it can become something serious, you know. But if you have, if you don't have any respiratory problems, you know, you're good. You're good. That's, that's like the, the, the worst thing that you can get, you know. Uh, I got it. Uh, in my case, I, I, I felt pretty, pretty sick. You know, I was like super, uh, I don't know if, if you've uh, gotten to this point yet, but you tend to get super, um, super weak, you know, so you get very, you feel very weak and then you don't want to uh, leave your bedroom, you know, so it gets, gets pretty crazy. So, um, but now I mean, um, you know, take take care of uh, yourself and your family, and let me know if you need anything, right? Yes. Okay, teacher. Very good. Uh, Ricardo, welcome, Ricardo. Nice to see you here, Ingrid. I know that you're driving. All right. How are you, Ricardo? How was uh, your day off? How was your fifteenth? Mm. Well, uh, my father was was. Uh, I'm sorry. How do you say when you Day of birthday, is my 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 father turned turned so my father turned turned and then you say the H. Yes. Yeah, so you back. can say my my father turned sixty. You can say that. Cumplió sesenta. That's how you say my father turned sixty. My father turned sixty. My father turns 50. Oh, so your father Yesterday. turned 50? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Got you, got you, got you. Hey, that's great, man. Congrats. Yes. So so you're like, what, you're 25 or something? You're in your 20s, right? Um, I'm 26. Oh, you're 26. Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good, man. All right. Glad to have you here, man. All right, so we're going to talk about past models today, guys. Okay, all right, so what's past models about? All right, uh, so we're in today's agenda, guys. We're going to have, uh, well, everything about past models and practice, okay? So, uh, Ricardo, please help me read the objectives for today. Okay, uh, by the end of this class, participants will be introduced to past models. I'm sorry, let me these models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. Good job, Ricardo. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. So, guys, we're going to talk about actions in that past. Okay. So, what happened to the cake? Everybody repeat. What happened to the cake? What happened to the cake? All right. So, here, guys. Okay. Let's let's read the example. Um, since I don't have any people, guys, we're just going to be using Rafael, um, let's let's read the example that we get. What is the, the, the man saying here? Uh, Rob, Rob must have eaten my cake. Okay, repeat guys. Rob must have eaten my cake. Rob must, Rob have, must have, have, have been eating my cake. Eaten. Eaten. Eaten my cake, okay. All right, very good. So guys, so here guys, Okay, so right here, guys. All right, I want you to take a look at something, okay? Uh, Jesus, hold on. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, so when do you think this happened, guys? If I say Rob must have eaten my cake, when, when did that take place? What do you think? Cuando tomo lugar eso? Rob must have eaten the my past. cake. The past. In All the right. past. In the past, okay, all right. Now, tell me, right, can somebody help me with this, guys? What do we use past models for? What, what do you use it for, guys? Okay, somebody help me read, please. Okay, uh, past model there's our mouth of cold might and may we have plus past participle to talk about suspicions 
suppositions. I'm sorry, I can't remember the pronunciation. Suppositions or speculations. Suppositions or speculations regarding a past event. This is called the model perfect tense. All right, very good, okay, All right? Regarding past events, guys, okay? So guys, okay, what do we use it for, guys? Okay, suppositions or speculations in the past. What do we use it for, everybody? Para que lo usamos? Write it down in your number, guys, okay? All right, so guys, what do we use it for? For past. Supposition or speculation. Very good. Suppositions or speculation, okay? All right. Keep that in mind, guys, okay? All right. Suppositions or speculations in the past, okay? So now with this example, guys, do you think, okay, do we do we know for certain, guys, that Rob, uh, that Rob ate the cake? Yes or no? Do we know that for certain? No. Que Rob se comió el pastel? Yes or no? No. No, right? We're just no. supposing, all right, he ate the cake, okay? But we're, it's not, it's not something proven, okay? All right, no se compra. It's not something proven, okay? All right, so here are some examples, guys. Welcome, everybody else. Uh, everybody on Thursdays. All right, Malian, right? Help me read the example number one. The cat has is has escaped. Escape. I must have left window open by mistake. Very good. What is where, guys, is the past model here? Uh, Rodrigo, where do you see the past model here? Donde vemos el past model aquí? Uh, when you say must have left. Must have, guys, here. Must have, okay? Must okay. have. All right, you're gonna notice, guys, that we if we use a past model, guys, we're always gonna use the word have after the model. All right, so we can say it's a model, right? Another one, guys, right? Write it down model plus have, okay? All right, so this is how you this is how you do it, guys, okay? All right, very good. All right, uh, so does is this for sure, guys? So does this mean, guys, that the cat for sure? All right, that the cat that the cat left uh, the window open for sure. Estamos seguros que el gato dejó la, la ventana abierta? No, we are not. No, we're not, right? We're not sure, okay? It's just a supposition. In what tense, guys? In, in what uh, we're talking about the past, the present, or the future, Ricardo? Sorry, what? All right. Are we talking about the past, the present, or the future? Okay, let's pay attention, guys. You can't know that you're on your cell phone, so I can see your face. All right, very good. So, uh, are we talking about, if I say I must have left the window open by mistake, okay? Am I talking about the past, the present, or the future? The past. Well, the past. The past All right, we're talking about the past, right? So, again, if it is a supposition, guys, okay? We, we can use suppositions in the past, present, and future, but this one specifically talks about suppositions in the past, okay? All right, specifically, guys, habla de suposiciones en el pasado, okay? All right, I need to pay, uh, I need to pay close attention to this, guys, because we have a very fun activity today, okay? We tenemos una actividad super, super divertida, guys. So I need you to pay attention because otherwise you're not gonna know how to how to perform it. All right, si no prestan atención, guys, no vamos a saber cómo hacer esa actividad, okay? Because I needed to learn that we need to use past models, guys, okay? All right, very good. Um, second example, see, uh, remember guys, we're using must have here, by the way, right? Must have, okay. Um, Ilda, would you please help me read it, Ilda? Here? Ilda, okay, Jose Chicas, help me read, Jose. Okay. Uh, Claire has slipped her handbag here. She must have left in a rush. Okay, she must have left in a rush, okay? 
All right, very good. So see, guys, we have another example over here. Must have left in a rush. Right? Must have, guys, is the... How do we call these guys? Okay, we call it a pass model, pass right? Model. Okay, very good. We call that a pass model, guys. Okay. Now, notice, guys, that after a pass model, what is this, guys? Left. What do we call these, guys? This is the verb in past a, tense. No, it's a verb in past. Pass, pass. Participle, okay? Okay. All right. So it's a verb, guys, in past participle, okay? Do not forget that. It's a verb in uh, pasado participle, okay? All right. So it's always followed, guys, by a verb in past participle. So um, that's about must, guys, okay? Uh, let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. So... So, by the way, guys, okay, when we use must, okay, we're almost, almost sure, okay? Casi estamos seguro de algo, yes? All right. So, when we say, you know, he must have done it, okay? I'm, I'm saying that, you know, that person, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm almost sure that person would be the one responsible for whatever action, you know, we have committed, right? All right, so before we move on, guys, to the next models, okay, I want you to remember this. Okay, hold on. Okay, the structure, guys, usually goes, right, like this. You have a um, must plus have, guys, okay, plus past participle all right very good take a look at this example guys uh i don't know why he did that he could have hurt he could have hurt himself okay se podría haber herido all right so now what you're gonna do right now guys okay it, it's just that every almost everybody guys who's here told me that you know um uh, that you guys are busy so I don't know who's able to participate, okay? So um, so guys, what we're gonna do is this, okay? I need you guys to try to get, try to think about someone, all right? Try to think about situation, guys. Um, maybe to think about your best friend, maybe think about your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, okay? And think about something that might have happened to them, okay? Or something that must have happened to them. Think about a situation where you didn't see them, okay? Pretend that, you know, you're, you know, a person you know, all right, has not come home, all right? What must have happened to that person, all right? So I want you guys to help me answer this question, okay? Okay. I'm going to say it in Spanish, guys, I'm not sure if you understood. Hay una persona que si ustedes conocen, no ha, vuelto de, no, no ha vuelto a casa. ¿Qué podría haberle pasado a esa persona? Necesito que me respondan esa pregunta, ¿ok? All right, think about that person. Let's start with Ricardo, ¿ok? All right, so what do you think must have happened? Sorry. Uh, I, I had a question. Uh, I the the first sentence when you you use this uh, in the examples, all with example have a little sentence, a, a clause, in the first part of the of the answer, and the second is a suspicion. Yes, okay, remember, okay, so I'm not really sure if I understood, but we use this for suspicions, right, uh, or, or like suppositions. I think, I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly, guys. Let me, yeah, okay, but, but uh, for guesses, okay, all right, let's, let's call it guesses, okay. All right, or suspicion. Now, this is what we use it for, guys, okay? Um, the structure, I'm not sure if you were referring to the structure, but the structure goes like this, okay? You use 
um, you used uh, must plus have plus a past participle verb, okay? Now, obviously, you're going to add more information here, right? For example, okay, oh, uh, uh, I think, let's say that you're going to talk about your brother if you have one, right? I think my brother, so you have the subject here, I think my brother must have must have got uh, gotten lost in the woods. Creo que se debe haber perdido en el bosque. See? All right. And the, you can add more information here, right? Oh, that's why he's not home yet. Por eso es que no ha llegado a la casa todavía. All right. Now, this is optional, right? I just want you to give me a sentence here. Now, you were asking me about clauses. Uh, if I say, I think my brother must have gotten lost in the woods, that's only one clause. Solo tenemos... Una cláusula aquí. Una, lo que sea que se llame en español, right? Um, I'm not sure if that answered your, your, if that answered uh, your question, Ricardo. Yeah, I have the question because uh, in the first part, uh, you use a sentence before explain the situation or introduce the situation. And next, you prefer the supposition or? Oh, okay. Or Can you give me an example of what you're trying to? It's just, I, I think I don't understand what you're asking me. I'm sorry. Can you give an example of what you're trying to? Give me a sentence, the I sentence that you're talking I, about. I have well, uh, when you, in, in the, before the, this, uh, I'm sorry. In this example, I don't know why he did that. Oh, he okay. could have hurt himself. Uh, so I think that it's necessary to introduce the situation or the mystery or I don't know, and net oh, yeah. create the, the structure. I understand. I understand now. Yes, yes. Um, yes, the structure goes after the idea, okay? Yes, in the, the example that you had before, I don't know why he did that. Okay, that's, that's and then he's, it says he could have hurt himself. That is two clauses. You're right, okay? I tened those, those clauses, right? You're right. But take a look at my example. I was not using two clauses, right? I think my brother must have gotten lost in the woods, okay? Pienso que. Okay. You can say pienso que, okay, all right? Or you can give more, more information, right? Hey, I mean, you can say something that is not related to the structure. I think my brother is lost. Sí, pienso que mi hermano es, eh, dude, al final, guys, solo es hablar, ¿ok? Es, esto solo es una frase, ¿verdad? Right? Lo que quiero que hagan, guys, es que sigan la estructura después de cualquier cosa que hagan. I think my brother got lost, ¿verdad? Right? Creo que mi, mi hermano se perdió. He might have gotten lost in the woods. Creo que se podría haberse perdido, podría haberse. Ese podría haberse, that's, you know, that's a supposition, ¿verdad? Right? Both of these things are suppositions, guys, okay? But for the example of uh, the thing is that if I say, guys, he might have gotten lost in the woods, we need a context, okay? Lo que sea que digas antes de esto es necesario porque necesitas un contexto, right? Yes? If there's no context, that's okay too, right? If I ask you, hey, why is your brother not home? Oh, he might have gotten lost in the woods. Es lo mismo que en español, guys. Si vos te puedes preguntar, mira, ¿por qué no ha venido tu hermano? Creo que se puede haber perdido en, las, en, en, el, en el bosque. Got it? So, if you want to give it context, yeah, you can use another clause. But that's optional. That's up to you, okay? If somebody is asking a question directly, for example, if it's already giving you the context, si alguien ya te está dando el contexto en la pregunta, no es necesario que digas el contexto de nuevo, right? Got it? Did that answer your question now? Yes. All right. Very good. All right. So, Ricardo, give me your example now. So, the question is here, right? A person you know hasn't come home yet. What do you think might have happened? Una persona que conoces no ha venido a casa todavía. ¿Qué pensas que pudo haber ocurrido? Uh, he must have... While, while he thinks, guys, okay, todo el mundo, mándeme un ejemplo en el chat, guys, por favor. Right, ahorita. Go ahead, Ricardo, continue. Returned 
We it must have return or returned. Returned. Okay. Uh, with in text. You might, you might have returned. I'm sorry, what do you say? Return with his ex. With his ex, okay, good job, All right? Good job, plus for Ricardo, guys. Well done, man, okay? Super good. Rodrigo Gonzalez, right? Give me your example, Rodrigo. Super good. I think that uh, she must have work at uh, extra. She must have. Okay, I know what you're trying to say, okay? But that that you're, you're translating from Spanish directly, okay? She must have stayed. Uh, Stayed at. Okay, she must she must have uh, stayed late. She must stay late. Her workplace, okay, right? Well, okay, right. 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 Very good, all right? Good job. Plus for Ricardo, Rodrigo, guys, okay? All right. Rafael, all right, let's go, Rafa. All right, give me your example. Everybody else, todo el mundo, me su ejemplo ahorita, por favor, all right? Give me your example, Rafa. <laughs> He could have visited his girlfriend. Okay, he could. Now, we, let's use must, okay? Yes, yes, you can okay. use could have, okay? But he must have visited his girlfriend, okay? <laughs> yes, la diferencia entre usar could have or, or must have is, es que vos cuando decís must have, estás como casi seguro, yeah? Cuando decís could have, no estás tan seguro. Got it? Yes? Okay. Very good. Um... Good job, good job, all right. Plus for Rafa, guys, good job, Rafa, all right. Ingrid, all right. Uh, Ingrid, if you can, I know that you're driving, but if you can't, can you give me an example? Yeah, she's driving. Uh, Jose Chicas, okay. Give me an example, Jose. Yeah, he, he knows how we golden calf in traffic he must have gotten stuck <laughs> in traffic okay good job okay good job all right pudo haberse quedado trabado en traffic right very good okay very good jose uh mailin all right mailin let me uh, let me have your example mailin um he must have forgotten the bus at home you must have forgotten to take the the bus, right? Actually, I think you want to say he must have, repeat guys, he must have missed. Repeat, he must have missed. He must have missed. He the must, bus. Miss have missed. must have missed the bus. The bus okay? phone. Now, guys, let me make your life easier, okay? Simple. All right, let me, let me make your life easier, okay? Eso se pronuncia must have. Repeat, must have. Must have. must have. Everybody repeat must, must have. Must have. Okay, must, must have. have. Okay, must have. All right. Now, why, guys? Because everybody speaks like this. Okay, now it's a must have, except when you're, you know, when you're writing something. Okay, so just, just pretend it's like something like this. Must have. You know, must have. Hey, must have. Uh, he must have gotten lost. He must have returned. Must have. All right. He must have. And you can even say must have. You know, he must have. He must have returned with his ex, okay? He must have stayed uh, late, okay? Must have, must have, must have, must have, okay? All right, very good, guys, okay? Um, thank you, Melin. Giovanni, right, Giovanni, let me have your example, Giovanni. What's your example? Um, I don't have an example. Um, uh, try it, I mean, try it right now. Okay. Um... The question, but you know what the question is, right? A person you know no. hasn't come home. Okay, aquí está. A person you know, sí, arriba, sí. right? Up, up, up. Um, if you can see um, on top of the screen. Yes, uh, a, person a person you know, you know has hasn't come, come yet. home yet. What, what do, do you, you think, think might have happened? Might... Una persona que conoces no, no ha llegado a tu casa todavía. ¿Qué crees que le ha de haber pasado? Um, he must have... Okay. Right. What, what's his name? What's his name? Who are you talking? Who are you thinking about? Um, Dante. Dante. Okay. Bye, guys. You, so I'm gonna show you something here. Okay. You can use a noun, guys. Okay. Dante. All right. Let's talk about Dante. Right. So what happened to Dante? 
Um, is... That they might have, remember, follow the structure. Sigue la estructura. Must have, must have, I'm sorry. Dante must have um, lost her bus. Must have gotten lost. Or, or no, in that case, must have missed and the bus. bus. Okay, guys, cuando vos quieres decir, all right, listen, all right, first of all, you shouldn't be translating. No deberían de estar traduciendo. All right, en español puedes decir perder el, el bus, okay? En inglés no existe eso de perder, all right? In English, uh, when you say lost, guys, it's when you lose an object. Lose, right? It's when you lose an object. No es que el el bus se te fue, right? Eso no es perder. Vos no perdés el bus porque vos no el bus no es un objeto que si vos decís I I lost my bus significa que vos sos el propietario del bus y que lo dejas en alguna parte y se te perdió. Got it? Okay. All right. Si a vos se te fue el bus, you say miss the bus. Missed. Okay. Okay. Let me give you another example with miss. Okay. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice perdí la clase? How do you think you say that? I, I missed the class. Exactly. I missed the class. Porque no, ¿cómo vas a tener una clase y la vas a perder? ¿Acaso le andas? Hey, mira, aquí ando mi clase, ¿eh? La acabo de perder. Right? No, right? Okay. Got it? Do, do you understand what's the difference, guys, between miss and, lo and lose? Okay. Very good. So Dante must have missed the, the bus. Very good. Okay, good job. Plus for Giovanni, guys. Well done, Giovanni. All right. Uh, let's go. Tatiana. All right, Tatiana, give me your example, Tatiana. Oh, ink? Oh, yeah. Well, Tatiana. Oh. Right. No, um, no, go ahead. Uh, uh, she uh, must have. What well, the meaning pasarela in Spanish? Walk away. The, the, I'm sorry, what? Pasarela. Oh, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, it's called, oh my God, I forget, <laughs> it's called the overpass. No, but an Over. overpass is for for cars, no. The, uh, it's called it the, uh, way. the walking something, hold on, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I literally forgot, guys. I don't even know how to call it in Spanish. Oh, well, you, you mentioned it in Spanish, right? Uh, well, look it up. Okay. Let's look it up, okay? I forgot. Uh, oh, I, I think it's called um, the walk bridge or something like that. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the runway. No, 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 but it's not a runway, guys. A runway, no, a runway is the one you used to, you know, models use, okay? Like, lo que usan las modelos, okay? That's not, that's not it, okay? Um, it, it, just, it has a different name in Spanish. Guys, en El Salvador le decimos pasarela, pero no se llama pasarela. Se llama de otra forma en español también, guys. Se llama puente de no sé qué. All right, got it? So, um, but anyways, okay, she must have... <laughs> Use the the thing is called. Oh my god, she must have used the bridge. So so what do you want to say? Um, uh, what do you want to say, Tati? The she must have passed. Okay, or she, just, must, uh, she must have mm, walked. She okay. must have walked. Uh huh. I'm trying mm -hmm. to find the, the. She must have walked where? No, she must have passed the pasarela. Pero... The footbridge. <laughs> That's how you call it. The footbridge. She must have walked through the footbridge. Okay, guys. In Spanish, it's called puente peatonal. No se llama pasarela. <laughs> All right. That's why, okay, so I forgot, I didn't know the name in Spanish either, guys. It's just that, that, that pasarela is actually a, run, a runway. A runway is, you know, where the, what the models use. Es la pasarela de las modelos, guys, okay? Maybe, you know, we named it like that, but that's not the real name, okay? It's Puente Patonat, right? Or Footbridge, okay? Good job, a plus for Tatiana. Good job, Tatiana, right? So say walked through the footbridge, okay? Uh, crosswalk, okay, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Ingrid, yes, Ingrid, go ahead. 
she must have fall asleep. Okay, she must have. Guys, what is the remember, guys? Is this correct? She must have fall. Is this correct, guys? Fall. Have uh, been fall. No, 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 guys. Remember. This part of the speech, guys, what does it, um, what, what should we be using here? Should we be using simple, a, a the base form of the verb, or should we be past using participle. past participle? Exactly. So what is the past participle of fall? Falling? Fallen. Okay. She must have fallen. All right. Very good. Continuing, great, good job. Thank you, Ricardo. She must have fallen. Asleep. <laughs> she must have fallen asleep, okay? Asleep, guys, okay? She must have fallen asleep. Good job, Ingrid. Plus for Ingrid, guys. Good job. Well done. All right. Very good. Who's missing, guys? Who's missing? Hilda. I don't know if she's there. I think that's it, right? Very good, guys. Okay, now I only received, guys, guys, solo tengo tres ejemplos. Well, Rafa, he could have visited his girlfriend very good. Jose Chicas must have gotten caught in traffic. Good job, Jose. Milan, he must, he most, no, he must, okay. Um, forgotten the bus at, at home. Okay. Crosswalk. Very good, guys. Very good, okay. Any questions regarding this, guys? Preguntas aquí? No? All right, very good. Hold on. All right, so uh, so the same thing happens, guys, okay? So remember, guys, when we say must have, guys, a lot of certainty or 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 or, or uh, low certainty. Está casi seguro o poco seguro, guys, cuando says must have. Yes? Must have is when you are uh, sure. Very good, okay, not sure, no, no, no. Guys, no es cuando estás seguro, es cuando estás casi seguro, seguro, okay? Must have, guys, it's used for a supposition, okay? Algo que supones, no algo de lo que estás seguro, got it? All right, got it? Never, you never use it, guys, for something that you're sure. Nunca lo usas para algo de, de lo que estás seguro. Si vos estás seguro, decís el en el pasado. O sea, lo decís en simple past, okay? Yes? All right, very good. All right, guys, so then we have, guys, okay, let's take a look at this example. So when do we use might have, okay? Might have, guys, all right? We use may, may or might have, my, uh, may have or might have, guys, to speculate about the past, okay? So, uh, let's see, Tatiana, right? Tatiana, you are the woman, and, and Meili, um, um, you, are, you are the guy, okay? Meili, uh, vos sos el, el guy? And Tatiana, you're the woman, right? Let's go. Let me hear you. Let's read their dialogues. Tati, Meli. Pero... All right, very good. So, all right, I think Meli might not be there. Right? Uh, Ricardo, okay, I'm sorry, Ricardo. You're the only one I see right now. Ricardo, you, you are the first person and, and uh, Tatiana is going to be... The girl, okay. Okay. Why isn't John here yet? I don't know. He may have missed the train. Missed? Okay, repeat. Missed? Missed the train. Miss. Missed the train. Yes, missed the train. Missed Must have missed the, the train. train. Okay. Very good. Good job. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. All right. So, guys. So this is to speculate about the past, right? Just like every other model. However, guys, there is a difference. ¿Qué piensan que es la diferencia, guys, entre might, entre may, might versus, versus must? What do you think? What do you think the difference is? May and might is a low. Uh, probably, probably. Uh, probability. It's a low. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Very good, okay. All right, very good. Okay, All right. it has lesser probability, guys. Okay, tiene menos probabilidad. Okay, it has um, it has um, it has a lesser probability. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at some examples. All right. 
Oh, uh, I don't know what happened to this slide, guys. Hold on. Jesus, let me rearrange it. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. So, Giovanni, help me read, Giovanni. Okay. The car came around the, cor the corner so fast I might have been killed. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, Rafael, was he killed? La mataron? Yes or no? No. Which, no, right? So, guys, we use might or may, right? Plus have to talk about situations that didn't happen. Okay, write it down in your notebook. Okay, situations that didn't happen. Okay, all right. So she's saying el el carro venía tan el carro se se salió de la esquina tan rápido que pudo haberme matado. Yes. But ese pudo haberme guys didn't happen, right? Because we're talking about the past. Okay. All right. So far so good, guys. Clear as clear as tequila. Yes. It's almost Friday, guys. Clear as tequila? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Super good, guys. Okay. All right. So now here, guys, uh, let me ask you something. Okay. We're going to pause here, guys, because I'm going to let you practice. Okay. Let me ask you something, guys. How many models do you know? Let's uh, let's mention the models that we know. It's a super fast, guys. Okay. Because it uses the same models that you already know. Okay. So, what other models do we know, guys? ¿Qué otros models se saben? Right? I'm, I'm listening, guys. May, good. May, good. What else? Might. Have to. Might have to. Allow. What? Allow. Allow, okay. Can. Okay. Can, okay. All right. Must. Must, okay. Will, okay. Now, all right, very good. I have a question for you and think about this. All right. Can I use all of them, guys, using the structure of a past model? Can I use all of them? Puedo usar todos, todos los que están aquí, yes or no? Remember, guys, okay? Recuérdense por qué le llamamos past models, okay? All right, a past model, guys, you have the model plus have plus past participle, okay? Let's, vamos a probar, guys, okay? Can I say may have, may have, uh, I don't know, may have uh, hacked the computer? Can I say may have, have the, may have hacked the computer? Yes or no? He may have had yeah. the computer. Yes? Yes, right? Yes, yeah. we can, guys, okay? Can I say he could could have, all right? Let's just could have, so we can get used to that. All right, he could have uh, hacked the computer. Can we say this? Yes. Yes, or no? yes right? Can I say, uh, can I say he might, might have hacked the computer? Yes? Can I say this? Yes. Yes, yes. right? Can I say he had to have hacked the computer? Can I say this? No. 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 <laughs> Guys, okay, you have to use past models. Get any set models in the past, okay? Can I say, let's see, right? Let's take a look at more examples. Can I say, can I say uh, he can have, have, he can have, Hacked the computer? Can I say this? No. Are you sure? Yes, guys. Okay. Be sure. You cannot use this. Okay. No se puede usar eso. Because can't, guys, is not a model of the past. Okay. Can, all right, will never be used to talk about the past. Got it? Okay. Nunca se va a ser utilizado, guys, para hablar de pasado. Got it? So you cannot use that. Okay. Instead of can, what do we use, good guys? We use... Who? Could, okay. We use could, all right? Instead of can, guys, you use could, okay? Very good. Can I say, guys, um, he allow have hacked the computer? Can I say this? No. No, yes. right? No. Why not? No, 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 no. 
all right? Now, um, when you say allow, man, all right, you have to, th this is not in the past, okay? That is the simple, simple explanation that I can tell you, all right? Okay. All right, it's not talking about the past, okay? Um, even when you say it, man, it doesn't make sense, all right? Um, so must, okay, yeah. we know that we can use must. Can I say, guess he will have hacked the computer. Can I say this? Yes no. or no? No. <laughs> no, are you sure? Will in the future hack it is a past verb? Yes, okay. Yes, yes, you're right, okay. Now, the answer, guys, is yes and no, all right? I'm going to explain to you why. Why? Okay, all right. Now, guys, will is a model to talk about when, but I guess I'm a will, guys. Future? Future, okay. All right, so this sentence, guys, esta oración aquí está técnicamente correcta, okay? No tiene ningún error gramatical esto, all right? It doesn't have any grammar mistake, all right? But there is a difference, okay? Yes, we can use it, but this is what we call future perfect. Okay, eso es el futuro perfecto, future perfect. All right. El habrá, es como que es el habrá hackeado la computadora, right? See, if I say, guys, el habrá hackeado la computadora, am I talking about the future or am I talking about the past? Past. Future. I'm talking about the future, guys. Guys, el habrá hackeado la computadora en español, guys, futuro pasado. El habrá en el futuro, right? Cuando yo cumpla 30, el habrá hackeado mi computadora. Got it? All right. So, so we use this, guys. Okay, we're talking about the future. So this, guys, all right, is not a past model. Esto no es un past model, pero sí está, sí está gramáticamente correcto. If we're talking about the, the future. Got it? Yes? All right. Yes. So from here, guys, okay, right? From here, we can say that you can use may, could, might, have, uh, you know, so et cetera, right? The ones that we learned, guys, must, may, and might, okay? So today, guys, we, I, we should, we should have learned. Oh, by the way, guys, you can use should, okay? Should have. Repeat, guys, should have. Everybody, should have. All right. Should have. Should have. Should have. Right. Should have. This, guys, okay, guys, if you hear me, pay attention to when I speak. I always use past models. You're gonna be using past models, guys, about 80% of the time when you speak, okay? Casi 80% de lo que ustedes hablan, guys, va a ser en past models. Got it? All right. So, in, I'm gonna say something. In today's class, you should've learned. Now, when I use should've, guys, okay, I'm talking about something that that uh, is supposed to have happened, okay? Algo que se supone que tendría que haber pasado. Yes? All right. So you should have learned about, right? Number one, uh, using must have. Number two, what else, guys? ¿Qué más aprendimos hoy? What else have we learned today? Must have. May have. Okay, we learned about may have we learned about might have all right we learned about the structure all right and we learned about what uh, models not to use okay so let's answer these questions okay let me do a q check uh tatiana right give me an example what what is the structure of must have what is the structure of must have The structure. Yes. Uh, the model plus how. Yes. Plus pa, pa, participle. Beautiful job. Applause for Tatiana. Well done, Tati. Good job. All right. Well done. Rodrigo Gonzalez, give me an example with may have. May have. Yes. Uh, that's may I have a. Uh... May no, I no, have... no. Mm. Just follow the he, my, he may have. Uh huh. Past participle, right? You need to use the past participle here. Es una suposición al pasado. Uh, we've gotten. 
it may have gotten. Gotten. Okay. A, a lot of beers, okay? A lot of beers, right? Because it's Friday, right? Right. right? Very good, right? Good. So you might have gotten a lot of beers, okay? You might have gotten a lot of beers. All right, very good. So we you might have gotten a lot of beers. Good job, okay? All right. Uh, what you do we use? Have got a lot of <laughs> exactly. All right, Giovanni, what do we use uh, past models for? Para que usamos los past models. To talk about? For, for sentences um, with any probability. Okay, we talk. We used to talk about pro, uh, probability. Okay, in the so, but how do we call these guys? What do we use it for? Thank you, Giovanni. Guys, what do we use past models for? Para que usamos los past models. Supposition. Sup. Okay, to talk about suppositions. Okay, all right. I think this is how you spell it. I have I have trouble spelling that word, guys. Okay, all right. So to talk about suppositions, right? All right. Very good. Yeah, that's how you spell it. There you go. Suppositions, okay? So to talk about suppositions, guys, okay? All right. Now, what models can we not use, guys? ¿Cuáles son los models que no podemos usar? Can. Allow. Can. Can. Very good. Have right. Can. Allow. Have. What? Have. And will. I have to, right? And what? Will. Yes, will. Exactly. Right. Now, recuerden que will si se usa, pero es otro tense, okay? Es futuro perfecto, yes? All right. Very good, guys, okay? All right. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Preguntas, guys? All right. Now, before you leave, guys, okay, before you leave, how are we doing with the platform? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, guys? Ya terminamos. I have problem with uh, sentencing the last part of exercise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you right now. Thank you for bringing that up, sir. I almost ready. It's Is it one exercise or is it the midterm? Uh, In the midterm. The midterm, okay. All right, let, let me help Ricardo first. Guys, everybody might might have uh, this issue, you know. Puede que todo el mundo tenga ese problema, guys. Así que todos pongan atención ahorita. Please, all right. I'm going to give you the answers here, okay? The one that people were having issues with is this one. Is this one? You're not allowed to take off your shoes. La respuesta es, you're not allowed to take off your shoes, or you are allowed. I mean, you you're allowed to take off your shoes, or you are allowed to take off your shoes. Okay. Ten cuidado con eso porque es una apóstrofe. En tu teclado, si es español teclado, vos no tenés una apóstrofe. All right. Si no tenés una apóstrofe, copialo de, dale copy paste a una apóstrofe. Yes. Yes. All right. So Maybe the answer, guys. I right, put it like this, guys. Okay. You are allowed to take off your shoes. See? And when you paste it like that, guys, okay, then you got the right answer. All right. Got it, guys? Did you get it, Ricardo? Okay. Thank you. Yes. I, I was writing the, the here. word here. Yeah. The yeah. last part. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's absolutely fine, guys. Um, you are allowed to take off your shoes here. It's correct too, okay? Eso está correcto, guys, pero no lo toma la plataforma como correcto. Got it? But just FYI, it's correct to say you are allowed to take off your shoes here, okay? All right. Very good. Uh, any other question you need help with, guys? ¿Alguna otra? No? Okay. All right, so finish the platform, guys. Um, um, I don't know, guys, I don't know. Um, did you learn something today? Yes. All right, we do have a class on Monday. Guys, um, please join on Monday, okay? El lunes, guys, el último día. So let's join, all right? Sounds good? Yeah, that's Perfect. good. All right, guys, anyways, right? Take care, guys. I'll see you on Monday. All right. Bye-bye, guys. See you. Bye. Yeah.